Right, hello guys, and welcome to today's video. In today's video, it's not a happy video to be making, okay? And uh, you can probably guess by the time of thumbnail what I'm going to be discussing. So what I'm going to be showing you in a few seconds is a few clips of what I've been kind of experiencing since Season 4 and just before Season 4. And kind of like what's been going on in Modern Warfare and kind of... Th th this problem needs fixing, and it needs fixing urgently. Because it's getting out of hand, Ian. But one thing before I want to show you these clips is this. So one of the people who I've been watching notoriously hack or cheat in Modern Warfare is this guy here, Tigre Rayodo 6. Now, if you play Grand War, you will come across this guy, okay? A lot. And there's also another guy in Warzone, but I'll, I'll discuss that in a second because there'll be a gameplay of that guy cheating, okay? But Tigre Rayodo 6 has been banned, okay? So he reached level 155 straight, straight as Season 4 like started, pretty much. And there was a lot of reports on him and stuff. He was blatantly cheating. It was so obvious. He was dropping 100 plus gameplays. And he did get banned, okay? Well, I say banned. He got his rank reset. Because I saw him earlier today at level 101. I come back on a few hours later. And as you can see, he's level 155. And you could probably gather through this here, which is going to be... I'm going to go to records. Now, he primarily plays uh, ground war. So what I'm going to do, go over here, go to ground war. And here's his stats. Now, let me see if I can get his kills, actually. There you go. If you think that's legit, if you really think that's legit, trust me, it's not. And not only that, as you can see by his clan tag, if I can bring it up here, his thing is ban one. This guy's already been banned, and clearly, it's not enough. They're not banning them. He's actually playing Grand War right now as I speak. So yeah, don't worry, I'm not actually friends with this hacker. I just added him to make sure, or keep up and check, whether or not he'd been banned or not and clearly he has been but he hasn't so they're not even banning these people so yeah check out these next few clips coming up we're going to be showing you people wall breaching that those haven't still been fixed people doing aimbot just all the things that are out of order and ridiculous in modern warfare and infinity ward you need to get a grip of this okay and then yeah there'll be a massive gameplay showcasing a guy cheating in warzone so yeah check out these few clips and i'll be back to reviews in a few seconds out reloading Right, hello guys, and welcome back. So, after watching those clips, after seeing me showcase that guy called Tigre Rayado 6, you're probably thinking, it's pretty bad. Well, get this. See this gameplay you're going to be seeing in the background? This isn't my gameplay. You're actually seeing my friend drop in, and you're probably thinking, what's going on? Well, guess what? This is another notorious hacker, okay? 
Now, I'm hoping I can get the clip from Reddit, because there's actually a funny clip of this guy uh, dying in a funny way. But this guy is called Ferry. That's just his name. That's his name in Warzone. It's called Ferry. This guy's... I'll, I'll, I'll let you be the judge for yourself, but he might be cheating, okay? He might be cheating just a little bit. But I think what I know what's actually going on in this game. But this is where this is where it's getting like completely out of hand. And like Infinity Ward need to do way, way better than what they're doing. Because they already promised us that they were doing a lot to combat this. And they're just not doing enough. If anything, it feels like they went backwards, you know? So obviously with Tigra Reardo 06, you've seen what well, I saw him reach level 155. He went back down to 101. He then, well, he was 101 when I last saw him. He then went back up to level 155. Even has his clan tag as ban one because he's been banned in quotations. When in actual fact, I think they've just reset his like stats or his, his level or whatnot. Because he's back on the same account cheating. They said they were banning these people. They're not. They are not banning these people. This guy here, I have not seen him banned. And what I'm going to show you at the end of the video probably is this guy here even appeared on Reddit like three days after I reported him. So this was before season four, like two or three days before when this happened. And I thought, okay, maybe this is a one off, but it's just been getting worse recently. Like, I, I don't know how to put it in Warzone. Okay. I haven't experienced nearly as many I have in Ground War. But I've seen clips of people having it happen to them in Search and Destroy, it happens in Ground War, it happens in Warzone, and currently they made a, a really dumb playlist up there, okay? So currently there's no plunder, right? That's already annoyed me. But there's also currently, as, as I'm recording this video, it is Tuesday, and what they've done is they've removed Ground War, okay? They've put in Realism Ground War. All this does is makes it way easier for cheaters to cheat in Ground War, because it's Realism Ground War, you know? I don't even know if you can see kill cams or not in Realism Ground War. But in Realism Ground War, these people are going to cheat and they're probably going to get away with it more. Now, I say that as if they're not already getting away with it already, but they are getting away with it already, you know? They're, as you can see, this guy here, you're going to see a lot of um, questionable shots, shall, shall, uh, shall we say. But yeah, as you can see, he's sniping people a million miles away. He's the best player ever, right? But yeah, so the cheating is back, okay, in Modern Warfare, and it's it's worse than what it was before. Before, it was just Warzone. I come onto Ground War, and I kid you not, even yourselves, guys, try and play Ground War. Try and play the Realism Ground War if you want. Honestly, I'm not going to play Realism Ground War. I don't like it. I don't think it's a good mode. I don't know why they removed uh, the normal Ground War. It's like it's like basically taking away TDM and then saying, oh, you can only play hardcore TDM. It just doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, so... Yeah, I won't be playing Realism Grammar, but go in there and see for yourselves, okay? I don't know if the hackers will go in and play Realism Grammar, but they were playing Grammar, War, and there was a ton of them. And you could tell from my clips, it was happening a lot, okay? I'm not even kidding when I say, uh, there was more often I was running into cheaters either on my team, on the other team, in my games, more than there was games that were, where there wasn't cheaters. You know, some of you might be lucky, some of you might put in the comment section down below. By the way, let me know in the comment section below if you've been experiencing cheaters a lot more, because... The only modes I really play are Ground War and Warzone. You know, I don't play, touch TDM or Search and Destroy and that. I haven't seen any, like, cheating in TDM or from what, anything I've heard about that. But I've heard Search and Destroy has been plagued with it. So if you play Search, let me know down below. Have you been seeing an increase in cheaters in, in Modern Warfare? Because I have, and I'm, I'm going to be honest, guys. that's kind of why I'm making this video. It's out of pure frustration, okay? Because... In most of those clips you probably saw of me showcasing these people cheating, as well as the wall breaches as well, I'll, I'll get into that bit in a minute, because at the moment the main thing here is the aim button in the hacking, okay? It's, it's ridiculous, but these people are cheating in that, you know, the aim bots and that. And I'm trying to do videos with the vector at the moment, you know? You see in most of those clips, I'm trying to use the vector. And the reason I'm trying to use that, you know, I'm trying to do class setups. How am I supposed to use class setups when, one, if the hacker's on my team, they're taking all the kills, you know? As if that wasn't already the problem in the game, the fact that like they're taking the kills, you know, they're ruining the other team's experience, they're probably going to quit and there's going to be like no one to kill. Not only that, if I come up against them, it's ten times worse, you know, it's even more frustrating because I'll go on a good kill streak and then what do you know, I'm getting shot through a wall. What do you know, I'm getting headshotted like across the map with a Grawl or some weird ridiculous weapon because they can use whatever weapon they want, you know, again, they're cheating, they're hacking, they can do whatever they like. And they get away with it, you know, they get banned. They just get back on the account again the next day it seems like you know i don't know i don't know how this process works but i know that they tried things like you need a phone number now to register for new accounts or something or for free accounts i believe i can't i don't i don't know how exactly that works but i believe you have to register a phone number of some sort with like free accounts or new accounts but clearly this is being bypassed everything they're doing is just not enough that's if they're doing anything again that rayadu guy was banned he even pro he, he proclaims it in his clan tag ban one 
because he's been banned once. So how is he back on the same account with the same name doing the same thing? They're not like this. This is where it, it kind of blows out to me. Like they they proclaim like when they started doing all this banning and stuff that they you know banned fifty thousand accounts or something. Is that not just fifty thousand people getting reset and fifty thousand people then suddenly hacking and cheating again? It probably is because they're clearly bypassing what they're doing and it's not enough. Whoever's however this is working, I believe it's manual report still because they clearly don't have an anti cheat. You know, they clearly like just go into the game, load up their mod menu or hacks, aimbots, whatever, and just go in and straight do it, you know? And they're, they're more blatant about it, that's the crazy thing. They're not even trying to hide it in most of these clips or this gameplay you're seeing from this guy. They're not hiding it. And this is the one thing with this gameplay as well. I believe there is actually a service going on as well with these aimbots and hacks. Because this guy's playing duos. Now normally, a hacker does not do this. But I've seen this dude with other people as well, and again, you'll see it in the Reddit clip when ultimately he gets owned, alright? I'm not going to spoil the clip too much, but it shows why he's cheating, okay? The clip at the end of this, so stay tuned for that. Or you can skip to if you want, if you don't want to hear me ramble on too long. But this guy is not a good player, and you'll see in the end, like, why this player probably uses hacks and mods and cheats. But he's also probably doing services. Because the guy at the end of the game, now I don't know if I'll have the audio loud enough so you can hear it. The guy he's with is called As Asculap or whatever. Um, he's not a good player, okay? I think my mate spectated him. He wasn't a very good player. But I didn't expect him because I wanted to make sure my view was still on the hacker. But my mate was complaining, saying that this, you know, this other dude's terrible, etc. He was proclaiming about how he bought this service. As in, he paid this guy here, the guy you are seeing right now, Ferry, to cheat for him. And why would he do that? So he can get a win. A nice lovely win on his record because he's not good enough to get a win. That's what's going on here. And that's a pretty much a safety net, you know, because... At the end of the day, this Asculap guy is not going to get banned or reported because he's not doing the cheating. And Infinity Ward, I can imagine, you know, they're having a hard time as it is, it seems, even like, like somehow recognizing cheaters and hackers at the moment. Again, it's this blatant, they should just be banned as soon as they start doing it. It's, you know, the moment they start shooting for a wall or dropping 40, 50 kill games in Warzone, there should be an instant, like, you know, manual review going on. But for some reason, there's not. I don't know what it is. I don't know what they're doing over there. I don't know if they just don't care. I don't know if there's just, you know, they've got your money, that's it, cool, we don't care. Let's go build some more blooming uh, blueprints for the store, you know, because that's all that matters, you know. They haven't recognised this, by the way. There's no there's no official tweet saying, oh, we recognise there's more of a problem in the game. Nope, absolutely nothing at all. And not only that, I was quite upset to see that on YouTube itself, that no one really has been discussing this, you know. It's all been about, look how good Season 4 is, and can't wait for Season 4, and look at this new blueprint, look at this new gun. But this isn't being discussed. I couldn't find this anywhere. No one's talking about this, but I have seen some talk about it on Twitter, okay? So if you go to Iron Wildcat's Twitter, you will see that he's been complaining. And it's probably the reason he hasn't actually been playing the game, because I've noticed from his streams he's playing other games. He's actually been playing chess, for God's sake. Chess! He's been playing chess over this game, because it's that frustrating. Because he tweeted something like, uh, played S&D today against a hacker again, get your shit together, Infinity Ward. And that's what they need to do. They need to they need to fix this. This is their game. This is this is the best position COD has been in a while, you know. This is the main game. This is the number one game of the moment. Alright, Fortnite had an event and you know that took took away some viewers and numbers for a little a couple of days or minutes maybe, who knows? But they just they're not taking care of it, you know? They've got something here, you know? They have Warzone, people are interested. There's supposedly millions playing this. Half a million of them are probably blooming hackers, who knows? But the thing is, they've got the eyes on this game, and they're just letting it go to waste by just simply taking no care whatsoever, you know? And then, let's get into the other point which I don't talk about, you know, because I'm moaning about the hackers, the aimbotters and that. You saw clips of people doing wall breaches, okay? And those aren't the most serious hackers, but they're the annoying kids, aren't they? You know, they're the people who you know aren't good, they searched on YouTube how to do this little glitch tutorial on how to get free easy nukes in ground war. And they find this cool little wall spot that you can either be shot out of or can't be shot out of. And they do those spots. But can I be annoyed at them for that? I guess not. I guess so. I don't know. Because yes, it's annoying that they searched that and they went and did that. But those spots, especially the ones that were showcased in those clips that I showed you guys, should have been patched. And were patched at one point, I believe. Because I, you know, people weren't in those spots. Especially the one on farm. Is When you saw the clip on farm of the guy in the wall underneath C... Well in the wall at sea, that was a patched spot. 
that spot was, you know, able to be breached at one point, but then I saw nobody get into that spot. So I was like, you know, we were all under the pressure, like, okay, you know, they've done something about all the people will breach in that. But no, there's, pe there's people just back in that spot all of a sudden. Suddenly there's another way to get in there. What's so hard about adding a wall or one of those, you know, you can't like exit the map because you can't jump over a fence or a wall, you know, just a, a wall to stop people from going in the wall. Why is that so difficult? It's clearly lazy development. And, you know, I'm just rambling on here. But it's just out of pure frustration, guys. you got to understand that I'm trying to, like, make you guys content, make you guys great videos. And and I don't want to talk about things like this. I don't want to talk about cheaters and hackers and this wall breach and this wall spot. I want to make class apps. I want to make gameplays. I want to make this great content. But I can't be positive about a game that just simply doesn't care at the moment, doesn't take the time to fix what needs fixing, you know? It's bad enough we don't get patches for stuff like, you know, for instance, the Graw is the most overpowered gun in Warzone at the moment, you know, and some of the decisions they make as well, again, with the playlist update, like, why why does why does Ground War, the regular Ground War, have to be removed for realism Ground War? Why can't we just have both? Why does one have to stay and one have to go? Why does Plunder have to go? Plunder was a staple game mode. Why did that have to go? Why does that now have to come back on Thursday and was removed in the first place for what? That's if anyone played it, by the way, did you guys even enjoy that Ground War mode? The, like, TDM 50v50 mode? Because, man, I'm going to be honest, you guys, that was a horrible, horrible game mode. I don't know what they were thinking with that. Like, I, I, I guess I, I get it. I get they thought it was cool. But, man, it was just filled with snipers. And that's all you could do was just spawn in, die to a sniper. Or you spawn in, you kill them with a sniper. That was it. That was all the mode was. It was just sit back and snipe. And it was boring, okay? And it was awful. You get, like, six kills and, wow, whoop de do you know? So, I'm frustrated, guys. You could probably tell. I'm just really frustrated. You know, the meta of the game should have changed. Like, I get it, they added two new guns, the Vector and the Galil. And I feel like that's what they tried to do here, is you know, change the game up with those. But the Gror is the most overpowered Warzone gun still, you know. I know I made a video of an AK, and at the time I did think it was a very good gun. But after using the Gror so much, it's just, you, you can't compete with it, you know. Even up close, right, the, okay, the Gror loses in some cases to things like the Vector, the MP5 and that. But you gotta hit your shots, you know. If you miss a few shots, it doesn't matter. The Graw guy, the guy with the Graw, you know, is gonna have like 100% accuracy because the Graw is not the hardest gun in the world to use, you know. And obviously, I'm, I'm going on a bit of a tangent here and going on onto something else that's frustrating me. But obviously, the main point of this video is Infinity Ward, Joe Seacart, David Mickner. If you didn't know, those two are the devs for this game, by the way. You need to sort it out. You need to start dealing with the cheers. You need to start dealing with the hackers, because by the way, this guy's even hacked a calling card, and I'm pretty sure, I don't know how this works, I'm pretty sure they're actually taking people's accounts, because this guy has, as you can see from the stickers on his gun, he has, um, he has packs, like pro packs, and he's either, like, stolen them himself, which I wouldn't be surprised if that's something they could do, they could just steal the packs off the store, or I believe, because I've seen it, they've been taking accounts from actual users, and then some of them are sold at the moment with hackers. Like, I have looked this up. You can go search this quite easily on Google about, like, how to attain these mods and that. Some of the sites don't look legit. Some of them do. Most of them are, like, Russian. Like, it's it's weird. It's, like, Russian coding and stuff. So people blame all, 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 you know, China and stuff for these hacks. Some of these stuff is, like, accessible for, like, Russian websites and stuff. And basically... They take accounts and they sell the, the accounts with the hacks on and that's it, you know, you got aimbot, you got wall hacks, all good to go. Sometimes they just give you the hacks, you know, it's for your account. So you can use your account, use the hacks and away you go. You just go to town, play what you want, play ground war, get a, get a nuke, play, play search and destroy, get a nuke and search and destroy. If you could get a nuke in warzone somehow, you could get a nuke in warzone. Luckily they didn't do that, could you imagine that? With tons of hackers and just eventually they just you know, release a nuke. And um, yeah, discussing back to the clips as well, one of those clips, all you saw was two people, I can't remember the name, I think one of them was, was Az or something, and the other was like, uh, num he had a number one clan tag or something, that's all I remember. Those two were in the same lobby on the other team, okay, the, the, both those clips of the same map, which by the way, it was on Promenade, and what an awful map that map is, okay. It's bad enough I get frustrated playing that map, playing that map against two, not just one, but two cheaters in the same lobby, killing me with insta headshots, you know, knowing where I am all the time, tracking me through the wall. That's frustrating, you know, that's incredibly frustrating. This clip here, of the, you know, this gameplay here you're watching of this guy called Fairy, um, again, 
clip at the end showing how like stupid he is to be honest he um he's still notoriously hacking i believe i haven't seen like anything about him being banned and that's another thing i want to go on as well so they said as well when you report someone and they're eventually in quotations banned which supposedly that tiger rayona's whatever his name is guy was and he put him next to the clan tag obviously banned one you're supposed to get notifications saying that you know congratulations this player is banned thanks for your community feedback or whatnot how many do you think i received like how many of those do you think i have received since reporting these people and by the way this is you know i could tell you right now i've probably faced 20 to 30 cheaters in modern warfare now i'm sure some of you can say that's outlandish or not but i believe you know i'm quite a high bracket for skill based matchmaking okay at least i think so okay i've got a 3.51 kd that's probably in a quite high bracket of skill based matchmaking i'm not trying to brag or anything that's just that's just how it is okay but I faced about 20 to 30 cheaters, you know, that probably includes Warzone multiplayer. It could even be more cheaters than that, you know, some of them I might not have ever even faced or known. You know, I faced wall breaches, does that classify as cheating? I guess so, but that's more people, I guess, to be, you know, should be banned. So it's probably actually in the upwards range of 50 plus more, because, you know, if we included wall breaches and stuff, it's 50, it's between 50 and 100. I know it's a big branch out, but I can't even think how many people used to wall breach at the start of the game. How many people would probably go under the radar modding. And then obviously Warzone came out and modding just became out of the roof, you know, modding, cheating, glitching, whatever, just became through the roof, you know, it was ridiculous. But yeah, I have received absolutely no confirmation ever from Infinity Ward on that news tab that I have banned someone successfully. Ever. And I can't tell you how many people I've blocked, reported, people like this. And I believe you can even go like search these game the names from like Card Tracker and that and go check. And I believe there's a thing actually that tells you how many complaints they've had. The Tiger Rayonas guy, believe it or not, had 700 plus reports before he got that first ban. And I say again, ban. He got reset. Okay, he obviously clearly got reset. Or if they are getting banned, there's an easy workaround. And Infinity Ward don't know. So what I want you guys to do with this video is... Please retweet this, or tweet this out, share this around, tweet this at the devs, you know, Infinity Ward, at Call of Duty, at Activision as well, you know, they're just as much to blame as as well, they're not taking care of something that all of them should be doing better, you know, we shouldn't be at this stage of dealing with cheaters, hackers, modders, whatnot, wall breaches and that, this is just, this is, do you know how long this game's been out for? Alright, with Warzone, I can understand, maybe, then again, I don't really understand there being cheats and mods, maybe, no, it's not acceptable, what am I even saying? It's not acceptable. I'm not even trying to defend it, it's, it's just not acceptable, you know? Realm War still has wall breaches in that, as well as now aim bars in that, so you didn't, you've got two problems. One of them, which is the wall breaching, should have been fixed in the first place, and this modding in that, again, should have been fixed, you know? This should have been over. Once they said they started, you know, doing this whole, you need a phone number for this and all that for free account and stuff, you know, why don't they just add an anti-cheat? Why is it so hard? Why is it so difficult? Why are they so bothered about does it cost money to make an anti-cheat i'm guessing so clearly that's the problem it takes too long to does it take too long to make one or they're just not care enough are they too busy making the packs you know the little blueprints that sell you know the ones that shoot the little blue lasers on the grill or not not i don't know i'm just frustrated guys this, this is a video about cheating glitching modders and these people like i, I would say report these guys but honestly guys it doesn't do anything, you know, I showcased at the start, there's a guy, Tiger Rayones, has a ban symbol next to his clan, or a ban in his clan tag, you know, I reported him, he supposedly got banned, and he didn't, so I wouldn't even say to report these people, you know, what's the point? At the end of the day, it's just going to get worse, if they don't deal with it now, we're going to have the whole pandemic again, we're going to have 100 plus cheers, as if there isn't already enough, you know, like every lobby just going to be filled with cheers, and it's going to ruin the game. As if it isn't already, you know, it's ruined my experience of the game right now. I, I dread going onto the game because I fear that I'm going to play the game and someone's just going to be hacking and cheating and I'm going to quit the game, you know. It's just a never-ending experience and I just I just turn the game off, you know, I've got to play a different game. And it's not something I want to do, you know, I want to make videos for you guys. But how can I when, you know, you face people like this in Warzone, you face like people like Tiger Rayones in Ground War and the all the other clips that I showcased of people cheating in Ground War. So yeah, all I want you guys to do is share this video about also put in the comment section below if you've become across cheaters and what your feelings are at the moment are you, are you even playing modern warfare at the moment is cheating that annoying like as you can see this guy's wall banging this guy quite blatantly you know they don't hide it they do not hide it so yeah tweet this at the devs 
you know, share it about, try and get as much tent as possible, and hopefully they'll do something about this, you know, that's the problem, just do something. Why is it so hard to do something? Take care of the game, you know? You want it to last, take care of the thing that you created. So yeah, I'll leave you with the rest of this, you know, I, hope, I guarantee you that he probably wins, but I hope you enjoyed today's video. I know I didn't enjoy making this, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe, subscribe and notifications on, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye!